Live from Town Square Towers at the heart of the Jersey Shore, wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Get up, get out, do something. Join the conversation, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, 608, Tuesday, August 23rd. 61 degrees, getting up to 80 today. WOBMAM, 1160, 1310. News Talk Radio, streaming live on the radio pop app and WOBMAM.com, 732-505-1160 to join the conversation. We are now joined in studio by Joy Allison. She's a personal trainer, nutritionist, weight management consultant at Balanced Life Weight Loss Institute in beautiful, sunny, uh, well, not yet because it's probably still dark out, Eatontown, New Jersey. Good morning. How Hi, are you? Hi, Jeremy. How are you? I am fantastic. Thanks for coming in. That, you, that, this, so how, you, you live in Monmouth County, right? Yes, all my life. Oh, all right. So this was <laughs> like, this was to get here at like 545, you were really all about that, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it was a little <laughs> challenging, but it's okay. All I'm right, here it's now. okay. Good. Uh, so why don't you tell folks a little bit about what you do? Um, you know, weight management consultant, that sounds like a really nice way of saying uh, you help people get healthier and lose weight. Yeah, right? well. Well, you know, I've always had an interest in um, anything to do with nutrition, fitness, wellness. Um, it kind of evolved over the years. And what I found was there were so many people that, that, you know, feel like they should know, they should be able to do it on their own. They should be able to lose weight on their own, and they can't. And so, um, you know, my goal and my, my aspiration is really just to help people do what they want to do and give them the support and, the, you know, the accountability and all that so that they can – Right. Um, you know, achieve that in their life. So, so like, have is this been what you've done all your life? Have you always been about weight loss and and you know nutrition, et cetera? Is that uh, that's yeah, what you went well, to school for the whole nine? Um, I started out in fitness. Okay, I worked for the YMCA for many years. I was okay. a physical fitness director, and so the nutrition and weight loss piece of it kind of evolved out of that. And you know, I just found that when I st- when I was doing fitness, I was getting a lot of questions about what should I eat. How can I lose these extra pounds? What you know, so right. th- it kind of evolved out of that, and I found that there's a huge need for it. Um, it's more challenging than I thought it would be, sure. but um, there's a huge need, and it's really all about the support and the accountability. Well, so and that's a good, so you bring up a good point also because um, I think a lot of folks who do personal training, mm-hmm. right, and who work with someone who helps them get into shape, quote unquote. They think that their personal trainer also is a nutritionist. Right, right. And they're not. Right. Right. Um, and a lot of those guys and girls, they live on raw meat and hot sauce and, you <laughs> yeah, know, yeah. And, and their own uh, hydration uh, systems. Right. But so so what's involved in that? What's the difference when you're a nutritionist and you actually understand the whole thing as opposed to just the, you know, the, uh, the, the armchair quarterback who says uh, right. you need to eat less fat? It's a lot about sorting out the information that's out there. You know, there's so much conflicting information and so much, you know, there's this program and that program and this plan and that plan. And I feel like my job is is to um, educate my clients on how to eat normally right. and, and how to eat to make them happy and fit their lifestyle right. and not like you know, I'm on this diet. And so it, it, eventually I'm going to be off this diet right. and back to my old habits. So it's really about the education piece of it and teaching people how to eat to live their life and right. how to enjoy their, their food. So you're saying that doing a 30 day cleanse and then, uh, you know, going on to uh, these shakes for uh, two weeks and then you can eat normally for two weeks and gorge yourself <laughs> and then go back on the shake <laughs> And then do a quarterly cleanse uh, and whatever. Like, like that's okay, right? That's the same kind of thing? Well, no. <laughs> no, no. I don't advocate things like that. Although, you know, I really I really approach it from a the goal and the ultimate um, – uh, what do I want to say? I don't know. The ultimate goal right. is to maintain a healthy body weight. It's not – you know, you can take the weight off doing anything, doing right. that kind of stuff, right. eating grapefruit and cottage cheese for a month. You know, you can do anything yeah. to get the weight off. But once the weight's off, how do you keep it off? How right. do you stay at that healthy body weight and not start to yo-yo? Right. And typically shocking your system in that way just results in you right. ending up right. back in the original it's boat. It's a big boomerang. Um, right. You know, and you end up putting all the weight back and more. Right. So, so. why do you think we have such an issue? It's Because this starts, you know, look, I, so I'll raise my hand and say, uh, so I had a gastric bypass mm-hmm. uh, personally uh uh, 13 years ago. Okay. Um, when it was relatively new-ish. Yeah. 
Uh, I had weight problems all my life from like sixth grade. I remember being 220 pounds in like middle school. Mm -hmm. And then I got up to 330 at one point. Um, And so it starts with childhood obesity like that. So for me, it was a cycle that I could never get out of. Right. Right. right? So why do you think we have such a problem with childhood obesity? What do you what do you think? It's a it's the nature Um, of it. You know, it's a complicated question. I think there's a lot of. You know, let me put it this way. Fast and easy tends to be the killer of a healthy diet. Right. There's a lot of like, what can we what can we give our kids that's quick and easy? Uh, Oftentimes, parents don't want to go to battle with their kids over food. Right. So they'll just let them eat whatever they want. And there is a tremendous amount of sugar out there that unfortunately is introduced at a very early age to kids. There's a whole marketing push around it. I right. mean, don't even get me started with the food industry and all right, that. Right, but, right. You know, you go to the supermarket and all the all the candies are eye level for kids. Sure. You know, so it, it starts kind of there, I think. And it and it's tough. I have a 13 year old and I go to battle with her half right. the time over what she's eating. And you want to you know, you want your kids to have fun and enjoy and go to the parties and have the cakes. But it just can't become, you know, all my kids eat are chicken fingers and french fries right well how do you but uh, so much of it to me is genetic also though like i i have three kids right Mm -hmm. so i have a 15 year old son who literally is like you know looks like zach Mm -hmm. right um like body (laughs) body shape right uh i have a 13 year old daughter who is you know tall and and pretty lean right and and an 11 year old who struggles okay right and frankly you know the 11 year old girl and so and I watch the 13-year-old eat, and I watch the 11-year-old eat, and there's no difference. Right. Just one of them just carries it completely differently right. than the other. Right, yeah, and, and that's true. It, there is, you know, a lot of it is genetics. A lot of it is what you're predisposed to. So as if that's your lot in life, then you have a tougher road to hoe. As right. as you know, you went through struggles sure. yourself. You have a tougher road to hoe than somebody else does. But it's it's not insurmountable. You just are, you know, some kids are going to be able to eat what they want, and some kids aren't. Cool. So when we come back, because that's what you're, that's what you do, right? So we've kind of mm-hmm. figured out what the problems are, and there's a lot of them, and right. it's you know it's systemic, it's uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, we have a we have a business problem, we have a mm-hmm. business model problem, we have a finance problem because cheap food is usually not good food, right? Right. right? Um, so now we get to the part where we say, well, how do we? What do we do? Mm-hmm. So like, what does a program look like? What do you What do you typically recommend? So when we come back, we'll talk a little bit about okay. that. Is that okay? Perfect. Uh, Joy Allison, she's a PT, personal trainer, nutritionist, weight management consultant. You name it, she can help you. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin back after this. Hey, welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. We are here with Joy Allison. We are talking about uh, nutrition. We're talking about weight management. So, so let's let so tell me how you kind of go about this. So let's say I come to you, and let's say uh, hypothetically, I'm, you know, I'm a, I don't know. Let's let's pretend. Let's pretend I'm a middle aged guy, and maybe I'm like 20, 25 pounds. You know, I'd like to lose. Mm-hmm. What do we do? How do we figure out where we go from there? Okay, well, the first step if you come into balanced life weight loss is you're going to fill out about a six page questionnaire asking mm-hmm. a bunch of health history questions and. You know where you're at right now, what your what your um, current eating habits look like, what your fitness level looks like, all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, if you're on any medications, right. etc. Um, and then we sit down and we have a consultation. The consultation is with me, and I really get into um, a lot of your history, your behaviors, how how you kind of got to where you are. Um, I'll ask you to get, walk me through a typical day, food wise, for you, what you eat, what that looks like. And then I'll set a program, and our programs are always three-pronged. So it's nutrition analysis and coaching. It's um, private fitness training with a fitness assessment, and it is behavior modification. So all three of those um, come together to create the program. Um, Depending on how much weight you have to lose, some people are with me for a year or more. Other people are with me for 12 weeks. Right. Um, and, and depending on how effectively you incorporate the, the stuff I tell you to do, um, that determines oftentimes um, how how quickly you'll get the weight off and then keep the weight off. So do you become like the lifeline too, like the, like the, like the phone a friend if I'm like – I'm yeah. like, oh my God, all my friends are off to, or they're all going to course to get ice cream. What do I do? Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, yeah, like, I've, how- had, I've had clients text me and say, I'm out at a Mexican restaurant. What right. can I eat? What should I pick? You know, that kind of stuff. And that's fine. Um, you know, it's really, it's it's about learning how to do it. 
I want to set my clients free. You right. know what I mean? Like, I don't want right. to be in your life the rest of your life. Right. But there is a time that I am there for them like that, and that's fine. Um, most of my clients have my private cell number, and they text me if they need me. Right. So... So that's cool. So it's because I think, you know, to your point, it's, you know, they say it takes 21 days to, to form a habit. Right. Yeah. Um, that's so you need. Well, I know it's, you know, <laughs> but, but you need you. So you need to kind of build the muscle back around what the right choices are and what. And, right. But, but at the end of it, it doesn't end because, like, for example, I may go out to dinner, I don't know, six days a week. Mm-hmm. Right. And maybe I go out to lunch, I don't know, seven days a week. Uh-huh. Right. Uh, and so, you know, the, it doesn't end with. uh you know, you have to eat salad every meal or you oh, have no, to, right. no, I mean, it's like there are, there are choices that can be made almost anywhere right. other than Olive Garden exactly. uh, for something healthy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that there's absolutely nothing on the menu at Olive Garden that you could possibly eat. Uh, well, there's always adjustments that can be made, but what I, what I try to do, what I try to teach my clients mostly in terms of the food that they're eating is how to balance the, how to keep the blood sugar even all right. the time. So bringing the right amount of protein in the right amount of carbohydrate, right. Um, it's usually about reducing the amount of starch you eat, the amount of sugar you eat, and just you know getting sure. the good the good proteins. And so, what do you, what do you you know? So from a tr- from a workout standpoint, mm-hmm. what does that look like? I mean, what you know? I think there there are some folks that believe that if they work out enough, they should be able to eat whatever they want, and then there mm-hmm. are some folks that believe if they uh, if they they don't work out but they eat like a bird. Uh, so they think that's going to be okay. Right. So what's the answer? Well, the answer is, number one, working out is, especially I say this to my women clients all the time because women have a tendency to um, do a lot of cardio oftentimes and not a lot of strength. And strength, you know, the muscle integrity that you have is what drives your metabolism. So I tell my women clients, especially women going into menopause, you have to do strength training. You have to build muscle on your body or at the very least maintain the muscle that you have. This is what's going to allow you to maintain a healthy body weight when you get there. If you're just dieting, so to speak, and you're not right. doing any any uh, strength training or, you know, and I'm talking about minimal. Tw- right. 20 minutes, right. two or three times And you're a not week. talking about lifting huge amounts of right. weight. You're just right. talking about repetition. Exactly. And, and so that's essential. You can't. Um, but you can't exercise away a poor diet either. It can't be the other way around. Right. So know? it's got to be somewhere in the middle. Then. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. So that makes it hard. <laughs> See, we're looking for all the answers, but they're just not there. It actually takes like someone like you to make sure that we have the right balance, well, right? Well, that's the thing. Yeah. That's what I find people need most of all is everybody, like I said in the beginning, everybody thinks they should be able to do it on their own. And, you know, oftentimes it's uh, and I'll use this scenario. I'm not trying to bash anybody here, but I'll have women come in and they'll listen to the, you know, we'll talk, we'll do the consultation and they'll say, I'm going to go home and talk to my husband. And then they call call me back and they say, my husband doesn't want me to do it. He thinks I should just exercise. (laughs) And I'm like, really? I mean, that happens a lot. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's the people out there that are just like, oh, just, you know, just do it on your own. Just exercise. Guess what? It doesn't work. Right. If, if people could do it on their own, they they would have done it already. Well, and let's and let's be fair. Um, and you know, having you you having done this for some time now, um, how many people end up getting hurt when they're trying to exercise right. on their own? Right. right? They and they, don't, because they don't even know how to exercise appropriately. Right. 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 The dumbest thing. I mean, even you know, just just even you know, doing a simple curl. You know, with a with a very low weight, they either use too much weight, they have bad form, they do right. something, they end up exactly. getting hurt and sending themselves back. Right, and then they're like, "Oh, forget it, I'm not doing this anymore." Right. You know, and and it, it doesn't have to be that way. It's it's uh it's something that can be taught, and once you know it, you have it. But it, oftentimes, you know, it's it's a it's a lifestyle and a habit right. that needs to be created. Cool. So when we come back uh, with Joy Allison, uh, we are going to give you your magic wand. Your Yay. pixie dust, your fairy dust, your ability <laughs> to make a difference in the world. Well, not like you're not doing that anyway, but, you know, let's just give you the easy way out. Right. Right, because that's what you're all about, right? The easy way out, especially when it comes <laughs> to weight management. Wake up with Jeremy Grun and listen up to the news, and then we'll be back right after this. The news never stops at WOBMAM.com. Get the latest from WOBM News, the Town Square, New Jersey News Network, and Fox News Radio. 
Wake Up with Jeremy Gronin. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 at 1310. Live from the Bob Levy Broadcast Center, overlooking the Toms River, it's time to get up, get out, do something. Wake Up with Jeremy Gronin. Be a part of the show, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Hey, welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, 634, Tuesday, August 23rd. 61 degrees, getting up to 80 today. WOBMAM 1160 and 1310. News Talk Radio, streaming live on the radio pop app and WOBMAM.com, 732-505-1160 to join the conversation. We are joined in studio by Joy Allison, personal trainer, nutritionist, weight management consultant, Balance Life Weight Loss Institute in Eaton Town. So we were talking a little bit about you have an online journaling system. So yes. tell me a little about that and how you use it and what it's for. Okay, so when I do the nutritional analysis with a, with a new client, I have them journal every single thing they eat for me for a full week. I usually tell them not to make any changes to, their, to how they're eating. I just want to see it for, you know, I want to see the real deal. And then we work together weekly after that using the online journal system because I'm doing the analysis not only from a weight loss standpoint but from a nutrition standpoint. So I can see if you're getting everything you need from the food that, that you right. eat. I always try to use the foods you eat to, to build up, you know, all your B complex, all the vitamins, minerals, all that. If supplementation is needed, I might recommend that, but I try to get it from the food first. How many people lie on that thing? People usually do not lie. Really? No, they don't lie. Because like, they kind of see, you know, how pointless that right. would be. Right. No, I know. But <laughs> it's know? like it's like, you know, you're like, well, I only had maybe two of those. Okay, I had seven. <laughs> All right, whatever. I mean, no, it's like. But I could tell when people leave days blank. Right. Then that's usually not it a good It was a bad day, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And there was alcohol involved. So, yeah, it's like, you know, it's like it, it's like when you go to that box of munchkins and you, like, take one munchkin and you're like, no, it doesn't end at just yeah, one. That's the yes, problem. That's the it, problem. Uh, yeah, you can't, you can't start. You can't go down that road at all. Okay. Right. Uh, well, listen, we've, uh, we, we, we've, 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 we've talked about so many things, uh, but it's time now for us to give you the magic wand, the pixie dust, the fairy dust, the ability just to wiggle your nose and make an impact, make a change, make something happen. Joy Allison, personal trainer, nutritionist, weight management consultant, what are you doing with said wand? With said wand, I want to impress upon uh, people that if they've tried more than twice to lose the same weight, or they're steadily gaining and they can't make the difference themselves to reach out and get the help that they need. Because the majority of people that are struggling cannot do it on their own. If it's been years and you're still struggling with the same weight, just get the help you need. That's what we're here for. And it can make such a huge impact and a huge difference on your life. Well, that's great. Um, and, and so, I, listen, I agree with you 100 percent. And and. You know, I I always tell people they don't believe me. You know that I that having spent a, a few years in the health and fitness industry myself, health and wellness industry. Mm-hmm. Of course, I always tell people I was the before picture, mm-hmm. right? Like I had a bunch of personal trainers. I would stand next to them, and they would be like, they'd point, they say, "That's my boss." And everybody would look and go, "Wait, that doesn't make any sense." And I'd say, <laughs> "Yeah, well, you know, we're we're a good team. This is how you start looking, and this is how you end up looking when you come to New York sports clubs." Um, yeah, so anyway, so uh, why don't you tell folks where they could uh, learn more? About about what you do, or if they want to, is there a website? Is there yes. a Facebook page? Is there? There is both. Okay. It's Balanced Life Weight Loss Institute. Um, the web address is blwli.com. Um, we have our core program, which is the three components that I mentioned before um, nutritional analysis, personal fitness training, behavior modification. We also have the gastric balloon, which got FDA approval in this country. What a is year that? Ago. So the gastric balloon is a non invasive. Um, non-surgical, excuse me, non-surgical um, uh, um, system that the uh, we're partnered with Mammoth Gastroenterology. Dr. Stephen Gorsey places the balloon in the stomach. It stays in for six months, and our program is a full year wrapping around the balloon placement. So this is one of the newest things to hit um, besides the surgical options. So wait, so the balloon takes up room it, I'm, I'm just trying to figure it out mm-hmm. based on the name it takes up room in your stomach yes so it makes you feel like you're not as hungry exactly and you can't eat as much and you can't eat as much and it stays in your stomach for six months the weight loss that we're seeing is anywhere from 25 to 65 pounds in six months right but we have the program for a full year 
So when the balloon comes out, you do not default do you, back to old. Do you behaviors. have to avoid any foods like sharp cheddar or something like that? Uh, it, when the balloon See what I did first there? Did, you, did you get that sharp, sharp, yes, sharp, sharp cheddar yeah. balloon? Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Cute German. Thanks. Um, no, in the beginning, you do have to avoid um, some of the the um, higher fiber foods like nuts and stuff like that. Okay. Um, but after the balloon, after the body acclimates, you can pretty much go back to eating, you know, the healthy choices that we're going to be teaching. You. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. What a world we live in. Huh? I know. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, there's a lot of choices to make here and a lot of uh, but the good news is that there's a lot of ways that people can actually kind of fight the battle. Right. That they can win in their battle against uh, against, you know, uh, increasing weight and uh, decreasing fitness. Right. Right. And you right. can help them in that battle. I can absolutely help them in that battle. And um, people will oftentimes make it a money issue, and it's not a money issue. It's a health concern, right. and you got you know, you got to put yourself first. Well, and don't forget, right, the, the classic answer always is if, it's, if you don't want to spend the money now, you're going to spend the money later That's right. on health care, on, right. um, on rehabbing whatever injuries you're getting, uh, on all the things that you're going to have to do because you've let yourself get into uh, get run down and you've hurt yourself or you know worse. That's right. So uh, the, the money it's 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 money well spent on the front end, right? That's right. My my parting comment to to uh, clients that I interview oftentimes is a year from now you'll wish you had started today. Because a year from now, if you don't get the help, you'll still be fighting the battle. Well, on that note, we're gonna we're gonna draw the line in the sand. Joy Allison, personal trainer, nutritionist, weight management consultant, Balance Life Weight Loss Institute in Eaton Town. Thank you so much for joining us Thank early you, this Jeremy. morning. Thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate cool. it. Cool. More wake up with Jeremy Grunin back after this.